Okay? So, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jerry Drake, yeah! <laughs> Clapping alone. <laughs> I like that guy, his own little thing there. Very good. My, Mr. my own introduction. Mr. Drake, you are back, and I'm so glad Thank you could make it Thank back you. here. Me too. I really am, and I, I'm sorry about what happened last time no there. Problem. It, no it problem. was a bad production. I don't know what happened there. It was a, it was a glitch in the system, probably a loose wire. I don't know what happened there. I don't know either. But I'm so glad you're back. Let's do a little catching up here. Uh, sure. You've had a long career in, in the world of music, correct? Yes. And your main instrument is? The trumpet. Okay, now, now earlier, I, I know we had a little talk before the show that you talked about, you know, the blown bugles and things like this. Any of those things, a trumpet, bugles, if you blow them outside in the cold, do your lips stick to the thing? Does Absolutely. That, that can't happen. Yes. What do you do about Vaseline? What do you do about that? Plastic mouthpiece. A plastic mouthpiece. Not a brass one. Yeah, How long have they had plastic? They've always had plastic mouthpieces? Yes, or? as long as they've had plastic. But like 50s, 60s, they've always had like a, like a you know. Yes, yes. You know, yeah. I'm just thinking, yes, I said, yeah. that, that's pretty, I didn't know. Mm -hmm. I was just thinking, that just crossed my they're, mind. They're not as good as the nickel-plated breast, but, right. but if you're, if but you're, you're cold. But you don't have to peel it from your lips. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you you know, rip it off. Yeah. Okay, I was just curious. I mean, you mentioned, yeah. I figured the cold air, that, that, that could be a problem yes, there. Yes, not only that, but the valves freeze up. Ah. So that's why they, uh, in the Army and the Navy, and uh, Marines, they use a bugle, which has no valves. Was that why they do that? Yeah. Was that the reason? Well, it's, it, it goes back to tradition also, but uh, that's, that's the reason. Um, yeah. Okay, so a bugle then has no vowels, so how do you make the different sounds? You have to vibrate your lips in, in different ways. So it's like working a kazoo? Uh, kind of, yes. I mean, you can do it with a kazoo, right? <laughs> <laughs> Is that the same kind of thing? Same, same kind of thing, thing yeah. yeah. Except in the kazoo, it's a little reed in there that's right. doing the vibrating. In this, it's your lips that are doing the vibrating. Really? Yeah. Okay, so possibly I could play a bugle maybe if I can, um, I could maybe, no, I don't um, know. You could, I could, I could get Would one that be you. easier for me to learn to play than, than like a trumpet or a saxophone or you anything know, people, like that? People ask me that all the time. Well, I don't like the clarinet, maybe the saxophone is, there's no such thing as one instrument being easier than the other. So, you know, it's, they all have their difficulties. I think bongos are easy. Bongos may be easy, but you, <laughs> I think well. bongos can be a little easier there. <laughs> You know. would think, but I'm, I'm, you know, I'm talking about the, the band instruments, violin, right. classical. It's, it's, it's all. They all have their problems, and one of the problems with the brass instrument is that it's your lips making the sound. There's no little reed in there like in the kazoo, so and you just blow it a little different way and you experiment. You know, your lips are making the the, the sounds actually of all the notes. Okay, so I'm a trumpet player or something, right? And one day, I got a cold sore on my lip. Very bad. Is that going to affect my gig? Absolutely. So I'd have to like, take off for a week or two, man. Well, uh, you know, uh, sometimes you just struggle through it and just do it. It's not easy. I'm sure yeah. some of these guys get this stuff. Uh, absolutely, they, they, they of course. It, of that's course. Kind of, plus, it hurts when you're doing it. And, yes, and it, it does. Be, wow. No, <laughs> it hurts a lot. Wow. Take my word for it. it All hurts the problems a lot. you don't think about here. And yeah. that, 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 that's, that's one yeah, of not only that, but you use your body playing the instruments. Use your diaphragm muscle, your lungs. So, you know, you, if your back hurts or something, it just can be. So it kind of keeps you in shape a little bit then if you use it. I, I, I hope so. You know, yeah, kept well, me in you. shape. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. I, I feel great. I'm, I'm not 21 anymore, but uh, I, I played today. As a matter See, fact. that's so, the thing. You're still doing it. And, and, yeah. And, that's the important thing. It, it, it hasn't stopped you, and you're still creating more music. You still got like you're still going to the studio, and you're doing stuff here. Yeah, I'll be there on the 11th of June, which is a Sunday. But you know, you have to work when uh, I, I'm anxious to finish one of my songs. I could tell you a little better, not much, but it, it's called the Street Singer. Many years ago in Venice, Italy, there was an old man who would come to the piazza and sing his songs. So I. Uh, thought about this and I wrote a song called The Street Singer and I play the part of the old man and uh, <laughs> so I'm finishing that up and that's going to be after I finish the audio part I'm going to do the video so right now and all your songs have music and lyrics correct I write the lyrics I write the melodies and I arrange them which right. means I write all the parts out. I was saying, you just, you just haven't done any songs, you just are, uh, are instrumental with, with no lyrics. Oh, I've done for many years. I've done cover material, they call it, you know, Kenny Rogers, uh, you know, you know I've, I've covered all those things. Gotcha. And, uh, you know, and I did play instrumentals. I played in many bands. Okay, you know. we have a call. Yes, who are we talking to? You're talking to Debbie. How are we doing, Debbie? How are you there? 
really good. I, I wanted to find out how a musician gets their inspiration to write songs. That's a good question. I wish I asked that. Yes. Well, sometimes we have what we call a muse. That's another human being that inspires what you're writing about. I wrote a song called To Be a Fireman, which was inspired by 9-11. So, you know, sometimes uh, it just comes from anywhere. Uh, you know, you can have a muse or you can have an idea or, um, a matter of fact, on this show, I'm going to show Gary how I wrote one of my songs that he likes, uh, the Bolero. Yes. So, uh, but um, that's the way it's done. Sometimes you only think of a little idea and it goes nowhere. Oh, Sometimes I, you write an entire song and it's not, you don't like it. You throw it away or you put it, I put it in the file. So okay. Does that answer your question? <laughs> it does, and, and, and it was nice hearing. We want to hear some music. We love music. We want to hear some music on the show. Okay, you're going to hear it, and you're going to see it. You're going to see it all here. We're going to be showing some of his clips over here. You let me know whenever you want to run one. Do you want to start one now? You want to run one now? Um, okay, all right. Um, I think they put up, uh, do you remember? Is that what you put? Yeah. Okay. Le yeah, if you could play that, I'd appreciate it. Oh, we're on. That was, really, again, no, that yeah. was really good. That was nice. Thank get you. your toe Thank tapping you. and get you moving there. Yeah. And we have a call here. Yes, who are we talking to? Just a little bit louder, please. <laughs> Hello? Yes, how are you? Who are we talking to? How you doing? My name is Chaz. How you doing? How you doing, Chaz? Glad, glad to hear from you here. What can we do for you? Yeah. Yeah, all good, man. I was... Do some channel surfing, yeah. I, I think it's channel 34. I just was going through and I saw 
this nice uh, big band playing in this pretty cool place it looked, you know, a nice video. I was really enjoying it. I said, gee, you don't see stuff like that anymore. No, you really don't. That, that's a shame, too. I mean, that's some good music that was going on. Yeah, it's pretty good. And, and, and where was that filmed again? Where was that taped? It was taped in a place called the Knockdown Center in Maspeth, Queens, New York. And uh, it's a, it was an old glass factory uh, that became a door factory. And now it's an entertainment facility that's a huge place. It's like an airplane hangar. It's, it's tremendous. They have uh, a lot of affairs there. Okay, and Chez, if you want to see this live, you'll be performing where now? You can well, um, I'm in the process of re redoing everything. But we'll be right here in Flushing, as I mentioned. Um, before, at the library, Right correct? down at the library, yeah. Yes. So uh, that you can look for um, There'll be an announcement on my website, www.jerrydrake.com. And you can, uh, you can go on that. And when you go on that, uh, it says send Jerry an email. If you send me an email, then I have your email, and you can be on my mailing list. Oh, that's great. I just wrote that down. Yeah, I really enjoyed that. Like, you know, it was really kind of uplifting. Like I said, you, you don't see stuff like that anymore. And the way it was presented was really nice. and a decent video. And, um, and I used to play back in the day years ago. I was younger, some of the clubs and stuff. I used to see that... Uh, come around again. It was very, very enjoyable. I think maybe more people should look into that big band. That would be nice to come back to hear that again. Yeah, I hope so, too. <laughs> well, the thing about my music is it's new music, new lyrics, new words, new melodies, new arrangements, but done in that style. So that's my... That well, makes a lot yeah. of sense. That makes a lot yeah, of sense. Yeah, nobody even tries to do music it, like that anymore. Right? No, yeah. Yeah. no. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Okay, well, I got to run, guys. Thank you, right. thank you very much, thank Chaz. Thank you for the good work, Mr. Drake. All right, thank All right. you, Chaz. Thanks for the call, Chaz. Well. Appreciate it there. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so there is, there is probably an audience for this. It just doesn't get Oh, there, there oh enough, there's definitely whatever. an audience yeah, for it, you know, believe yeah. me. Uh, you know, just curious, uh, what's the minimum number of, of musicians you would need in order to get a sound to do? What you have, was that minimal? Or well, there are 12 on the video. Right, could you do it less if you had to? Or, I mean, what's the minimum you would need? Well, it's like either a big band or it isn't. 12 is a lot. <laughs> And um, it depends. I add one or two more instruments, uh, depending on the place. And, uh, right. you know, but my arrangements, I wrote the arrangements so you can break it down or expand it. Right. I just have the extra parts. And, you know, there's only so many notes you can play right. in music. Mm -hmm. So. But you can do it less instruments if you Not have less to? than 12. Not is less than now. 12. That would yeah. be the minimum. That would be the minimum. Yeah, I okay. think so. Otherwise, it's not a big band. Okay. It's an octet or something okay. like gotcha. that. Gotcha. <laughs> Okay, now, now the drummer himself. You tell him what to do. He kind of just no, no. I write himself. them. I write out the parts. You do that part too. Oh, I write wow. out everything. Yeah. So he's doing all his little fills. Oh, uh, I stuff. tell yeah, him. You got all that. Yes. Yeah, sometimes I make suggestions. Oh, really? You don't have to play exactly like this, but this is the feeling I want. Okay, gotcha. So okay. he's terrific, Steve. Uh, so, so Steve cover, Russo. I'll give him credit. Right, so you cover all angles. He's yeah, a terrific nice drummer, thing. and uh, all of them are terrific, and all of them have many, many years of experience of playing with. Okay. Top people all over. These are some of the best guys, and we have in New York City. Yeah. All so right. you know. So. Okay. Uh, and now, now I want to get through all your videos. Okay. You got about four or I five. To, I know. I wanted to show you. Yeah. If I could. I don't know if they can see the keyboard. Yeah, they uh, see it right there. We got it right there. Okay. I see it there. Yeah. Um, without getting too technical, is uh, I'm going to. There's a song called Bolero. That uh, I think they have back there. It's on the CD Latin Latitudes, I think, right? Uh, Latin Latitudes? Yeah, yes, yes, I, yes, that's his CD he's got out there. And that's probably one of my favorite. Oh, I don't songs. have a picture of that. Yeah, right. I didn't bring it with me. All I, right, I forgot okay. my CD. I have the whole, I have the whole Jerry Drake. Well, they can go on my website uh, and see that. Yeah, yeah. but it's, it's uh, have Latin Bolero is one of my favorite ones on there, yes. Okay, but basically I work, I, I can work without any kind of a keyboard. I can do it in my mind and then just write out. But it helps if I can play the keyboard and hear how it sounds, and then I know it's going to sound better when I arrange it for all the instruments. It's got to. Right. It sounds good. Okay. So this is what I use for Bolero, and uh, I have uh, this is a Casio, very inexpensive. You can buy it in any. But I thought I would show your audience. People say, well, how do you know what, what all this this? Uh, and I, if you notice, we in music we use notes. We name the notes. We only use the first seven letters of the alphabet, A, okay. B, C, D, F, G. All right. We don't use L. We don't use Z. So those are the seven notes. And we name each one of these white keys on here a note, a name, a, a, a letter name. 
So if you notice, every keyboard has two, three, two, three. I don't, yes, I can say two, three, a pattern. This is so I know, well, the player knows where to put his fingers. In between every two notes, we call that letter D. That's the note D. Okay. When we go to the right, we go forward in the alphabet. So the next note would be, next letter of the alphabet after D is? E. Oh, you. <laughs> I can be a music teacher. All right, now when we there go to go. the left, what's the note that comes before D? Oh, C. So, Doing C, good. D, E, F, G. Now that's it. And that's we have where we to start. start. We have to start all over from the beginning. Start back at A. A, right. B, C, D. Now the only difference between this D, we have many Ds. We have one, two, three, four, five Ds on this. A grand piano may have eight. Okay. The only difference between these two Ds is one is higher and this one is lower. So in writing bolero, so now I know where I can move my hands. It's, it's a little bit more complicated than that. But in bolero, I would always hear this. Let me get it nice and loud. You know, I'd always say that, always. Right, yeah, yeah, exactly, and I said, yeah. you know, I like that idea. Except I like a slower tempo because I want to write about the bolero, which is a dance. So what I did was I used that these chords. Oops. See? And then I added and then I added those four chords. All right, then I added the rhythm, the bolero rhythm. Easy, right? Easy. Th that comes with the machine? Yes, Would I can just... program. Yes, all okay, these machines yeah. come with a rhythm. Okay, gotcha. It has all, it has, <laughs> gotcha. you can pick out. So I said, you know, that's kind of the rhythm I want. Right. It's, it's different when a, a live band plays it, but that's what I want. So. Then I thought of the words, and I said, I want this song in two sections. The first section will tell you about the feelings, and then the second section I will say what it is. It's the bolero. Right. I'm, you know. So musicians do this all the time, and the second, well, can I sing a little bit of it? Lauren? Sure. Oh. Sure. Okay. Magic. Rhythms in the night. Till love comes to satisfy your dreams. A dance made for romantic flight. Of love now and ever so it seems. Now at this point, I want to go to the next section and say what it is. So I have to change this to this. It's a little different sound. A little, very subtle, yeah. Very, I, 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 yeah let's, let's. Okay. I go to, from what we call minor to major. Okay. It's a diff minor is very sad, you know, a Chopin. You know, very sad. Right. But, but now I'm going to major because I want to go to a different melody kind of a thing. So. I end it with this, and I say, Bolero, it's ever moving, your heart's approving, that you must dance. I change again to this, say, Bolero, the sound electric. Back to my so. If you could play the video, you'll get a better idea. Okay, can now we get we'll that video it, there? Yeah, I'll say the actual video, video of Bolero. Can we hear that now? By the way, the original Bolero, no words at all, right? There was a Bolero by Ravel, who right, Maurice that's Ravel. The, that's that's the a little really different. Know. 
Okay. That, that, that's a different bolero. It's the same name, but it's a different. It's gotcha. in, It's in. It's in a different time signature. It's Rhythms of the night Till love comes To satisfy your dreams A dance made For romantic flight Of love now And ever so it seems Bolero, so cool and flowing, your body's knowing, the time has come. Bolero, the sound electric, to people just click. And then succumb your desires your minds burn and you must obey your love grows and fuels the rising fires Polero it's ever moving your heart Approving that you must dance, Bolero. You know the time's near. You must lose your fear. Give love a chance.
that's something yeah. I could probably just listen to. Just the music alone is, is just fine, even without the words. I, I just like the whole sound. I like the whole yeah. movement. I like the whole yeah. thing with that. Well, good. Uh, people like different yeah. aspects of music. Yeah, that's music, real nice. You know. man. That, that's just yeah. a real nice tune. That's why it is one of my favorites there. Okay. <laughs> okay, good. Um, yes. Well, no, real quick. I know you brought a whole bunch of photos. Oh with yes. You. Oh, I, I can, can brought we get some. Can through some of those here? I mean, <laughs> have time. Get through well, those. you might like. These are labeled, so I, I just found this. Okay. I, I'm sure you know Uncle Floyd. He is a comedian. Oh, yeah, Uncle Floyd, yeah. Sure, sure, yeah. <laughs> Fair, famous TV show. I think he's still on the radio, too, actually. Yeah, well, I, he, he was, was a fan. In, uh, and Bob Arkin, I'm not sure who Bob that Arkin is. Bob Arkin is a bass player. Uh, I just, it's just people I met, you know, and I just happened to have the photos and somebody... Right. Put him in He's a, got Uncle Floyd here. Here yeah. we have a fan. Un here we have Bob Arkin. Arkin okay. Yeah. <laughs> famous Bob Arkin. <laughs> well, he is famous to okay. other musicians. Very nice. Uh, yeah, very cool. <laughs> I right. have, uh, this is going back um, 30 years. My goodness. This is in a place called Duraus, which was in. Duraus, yeah, that's yeah. in Glendale or something yeah, like that. Yeah, it was on or, Myrtle or, Avenue in Glendale. Right, yes, yes, Duraus. You guys uh, this, I fronted that another band before I started my own band. <laughs> and, uh, that's on there, yeah. Nice, nice. Just yeah, just what a, I found. Funny history. I know. What that's, year we, that's what me you? over there. It says, I think, this September here, 11th. Right? That's you over here, right? That's me over yes, there. Yes, right over there. We got yeah, one on this side blue. over here. There, if you can see yeah. that. Okay. Uh, when I, I when I play with the band, if you notice, I always stay over on the side. I like to feature them. I saw that, yeah. yeah. By the way, your last song, Valero, you got some moves there, too. I saw you get it. When, I, when I'm doing it live, it's a lot more. You yeah. got some moves. <laughs> <laughs> Is that right? There? Yes, depending on my uh, You got some moves, moves going on there, yes. Yeah. <laughs> right. um, this doesn't have any photo of me, but this is from 2000. We did uh, this, whatever that was, Millennium, whatever. Tom Chapin and Friends was uh, July 12th. Jerry Drake, Big Band, and USO Made in America. And this was in the, well, where was Two, it? The 2000. This was in Maspeth, in the Maspeth yeah. Bank parking lot. Yeah, oops, yeah. There you go. Uh, yeah, yeah. Just yeah, uh, as a flyer I found, I thought you, it might be interesting to some people. 17 that, years ago. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. you've been kicking around this for a while here and nonstop, and you're still doing it. That's what's amazing <laughs> to me. Still, no, you're still doing yeah. it. Yeah, that's a cool thing. Yeah, I. Uh, uh, this is from the uh, auxiliary. This is from a newspaper clipping, so it's not really. You, uh, I don't know if you know this. Yes, yeah, kind of tough to see there. Police and auxiliary. Is that, it's, is that, hard, is, it's hard to is, see. Is that you in uniform there? Yes. Yeah, this is me in uniform too. Show that. Okay, and here we have a uniform yeah. here. Well, we have that we one. We had a previous conductor, Mike Why'd DeMonte. Go away. Let's come back to it. There he is. Yeah. That's it. That's you playing the trumpet, I assume. Yes, uh, that there was for Mike DeMonte. He was the leader then, and um, so your walls like covered with these things, right? I'm guessing you just got well, I, hanging all over there. Yeah, I do have a. Uh, yeah, yeah, I would think. This is the auxiliary. This is my 25-year uh, longevity ceremony. And this is. Uh, Kelly? This is a Ray Kelly. Yeah, oh, here I brought a, a, a picture uh, of him playing the drums with us. He plays drums? Yeah. Is he any good? I, um, yes, he's okay. <laughs> he's, a, <laughs> he's okay? You're putting me on the spot. He's all right there. He's a very good man. Okay, did you have to guide What Did he just freestyle or did you have to tell him how to play? No, no, I don't tell anybody <laughs> anything. Oh, you said you do. You kind of tell him how you want well, to play. Well, yes, if it's my gotcha. music, but all we right. were playing. And this is a... This is my 30 year. So this is uh, Ray Kelly's not there any longer. And uh, I have another couple okay. of ones. Yeah. yeah. I brought some maybe funky pictures of me. Um, we got like a, like a, like a, like a goatee or ponytail? What do you got? A, no, no, no. This is a Jerry Drake rehearsal. Oh. I don't know where that was. Okay. I can't remember. Somebody, if you see this, and you were one of the musicians there, or you remember that studio or wherever it was. Let me know. That's me in the shorts. Nice <laughs> yeah, legs. Yeah, yeah. Nice yeah. Le these are nice <laughs> legs. I don't know why you don't wear these shorts more often. I, it's an idea. You, you, you should have worn shorts tonight. I don't know this why. This was didn't. maybe over 30 years ago, more than that, late night in a club. Me just singing like, I want to go oh, home. Oh, wow, that's really a different look. Wow, okay. Yeah, okay, I want to yeah. go home now, you know. It's like, Yeah. I just was like, and somebody took a picture of that's it. It's, a, it's a nice shot there. Yep. Here's your friend and mine. Um, I brought this back. Oh, this is 
This is another a picture of mine with Danny Styles. He was a famous DJ. Styles on your dials. Yeah, it kind of sounds familiar. I know yeah. one of the guys in the back that he definitely knows Danny Styles. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He was. Uh, is he still with us? Oh, uh, he has gone to his eternal reward. He has gone there. Yeah, and okay. This is um, me and then. This is in Joe Franklin's and this office. This is you where? Oh, this is in Joe Franklin's office. I'm yeah. sitting next to the Perry Como chair. That was the chair that Perry Como actually used for his TV show. Really? Yeah, and Joe bought it or got it. And the Perry Como chair. Wow. <laughs> Famous right. chair. This is 2011 with, with Joe. Yeah. yeah, once again, I got to find my picture with Joe Franklin. I do have one. I took one with Joe Franklin there in, his, in the same, same place over on 43rd Street, right off 8th Avenue there, right? Yes. Yes, right. 43rd. Yes. I went there. <laughs> Someone said it looks like their house. <laughs> Someone in the back there. Oh, he knew where everything was. That is taking a wow, long time. Wow, holy jeez. Wow, you uh, I you, wasn't bad looking in those days. You must have been popping with the ladies here. Get a good look at that one there. I, was 40, right. I think wow. I was 45. <laughs> jeez. Yeah. Wow, that, that, that is that, wow. That is pretty, pretty dashing. I there. worked really for Avant Avantage. Wow. They were a model management company. I don't even know if they're around anymore, but... Uh, yeah, you could have did like 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 Breck commercials or Wella Hair or something there too. I, Look at that. Yeah. Well, I had hair then. I still have some of it left. Very so. nice. It's pretty cool there. <laughs> I thought you might like that. Yeah, I did. I did like that. That was, that was pretty interesting to see. That. You actually, was... I think you like it a lot better than. Yeah. yeah. Um, would you like to hear another one of my videos? I'm sure. Anxious. What else you got? Uh, what, what do they have in there, fellas? What's next, guys? What do we have up next? Tonight. Oh, all right. Tonight is a. No, not that tonight. Uh, that's from West Side okay. Story. Yeah. This was um, basically saying tomorrow is, we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow, but we, we're together tonight. So okay. let's Just celebrate curious, that. Just curious, any of your songs ever been used for any movie, soundtracks, anything Yes. Like that? As a matter of fact, I have, I'll bring that movie. I can show the, I have a clip from the okay. movie. It's called uh, 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 Doing the Savoy. Was, uh, as a matter of fact, I just got a, uh, an email from Lord Litter, who is a DJ in in Germany and he's uh, I'm on his playlist this particular song so and it was used in a movie and um, I'll I can bring you a clip from that you know sure. I, I try to just bring you gotcha you cool. know, I've had a I'm long long a long career you really have <laughs> okay we can hear uh, tonight, tonight. Stay with me through the night, keep me close till the light, or tomorrow is tomorrow, but tonight is here forever, tonight. Please don't go, I need you, you want me, and we know that tomorrow is tomorrow, but tonight is here forever, tonight. To care. Sometimes nothing goes right, but tonight is tonight. Here we are, you and I, sharing not goodbye and tomorrow is tomorrow but tonight is here forever tonight
to care Sometimes nothing goes right But tonight Is tonight Here we are You and I Sharing Goodbye, and tomorrow is tomorrow, but tonight is here forever. Do you arrange the choreography too? You know when they all stand up together and do you? Do, 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 do. I said, guys, stand. I write in stand you, up. You, do you really? And yes, you arrange sometimes. That too, so you're, you're so they the know. They're, they're just reading us. They stand up when they stand up. Okay. They, they know. Very nice. Now well, the next next one we're going to show. What, what what is that one? There? It's called Samba Dance. If you, if you have that in there, is that from Latin Latitudes? Also? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. It's it's self-explanatory, but it's mostly for the band to play and uh, me to sing along with them. Now, samba itself is a style of dance. That's or? another dance from okay. Brazil, yes. Gotcha. Okay, we can hear a samba dance. We can get that one in, and that'll be great. Rhythms put you in a trance It's romance Erotic pulse to give your love a chance Move your hips It's one of dancing's happy pleasure trips Side to side You have to sway your shoulders as you glide Oh, music surging Crowd is merging All agree tonight That the samba masquenada Has us feeling right it's elementary that me gente keep in touch this way It is just so in Il Mundo every night and day Merging, all agree tonight that the samba masquerada has us feeling right. It's elementary that the gente keep in touch this way. It is just so in Il Mundo every night and day. Happy pleasure trips Side to side You have to sway your shoulders as you glide
side to side. Somebody it's romance. Move your hips side to side. Somebody it's romance. Move your hips side to side. We're Thank just you. about Thank out of time. We got time for one more video, just real quick though. Have you thought of putting any females in some of these videos here? Oh boy, I'd like to do that. I'd like to see a female samba dancer going around here oh, or something there. Maybe. I don't know. That'd be kind of nice. Be, yeah, mm. Expensive, but nice. <laughs> <laughs> Might be nice there. <laughs> anyway, your website's real quick. Facebook. www.jerry with a j, jerrydrake.com. Okay, we will definitely have you on again. You here. can We're Google me. And there's another Jerry Drake. Actually, is a uh, football player. But um, he and I look different, so. They get you confused sometimes, though, right? Um, I hope not. I hope, yeah. <laughs> okay. okay, so so right now, the last one we're going to hear now. The new Boogie Woogie. Not the old, the but new the boogie new woogie, Boogie Woogie. The new one. All right, we're going to just close out unless Boogie Woogie. <laughs> I want to thank you guys for tuning in here. And I will see you again next one. Remember, the first Tuesday of every month. And let's get on to the new Boogie Woogie. I want to thank Mr. Drake thank for coming you. out here. Thank, thank you, you very Gary. much there. Thank you. Okay, the new Boogie Woogie. It's the new, it's the new Boogie Woogie Not the old, but the new Boogie Woogie It's the great, not the late Boogie Woogie It's the sign of the times Boogie Woogie It's the best of the rest Boogie Woogie It's the new school of the new cool Boogie Woogie Come let's dance to the new Boogie Woogie If you do, do the new you will know you're the no boogie woogie. Come on and let's go with the flow boogie woogie. It's always the night for the just right boogie woogie. Be moving, be groove to the improved boogie woogie. It's the new, not the old, it's 
the grave, not the lake. It's the best of the rest, the no boogie woogie. Come, let's dance. If you do, you will know. You're in the know. It's always the night. Pull up your slide. Boogie woogie. It's the new. It's the new. It's the new. Boogie woogie. Ha <laughs> ha.